Shari here today and I'm going to be showing you how I made this cute little baby card for a shower. So my images that I'm using I actually already had colored and cut out. I colored them with colored pencils. You can see here I have a little um, bowl full of little images that I colored. So when I first got this set I stamped out a whole bunch and I colored a whole bunch and then cut them out with the dyes. It's really easy to do and then I've just kept them on my desk to use for later projects. So I have this little duck and umbrella that I already had colored and cut out and I'm going to be using some papers from Hello Sunshine. You can tell it's well loved. I'm going to use this sheet right here that has the little um, garland banner things that go across it and I'm going to be using the 3x4 stitch journaling card to cut out a panel for the front of my card. So you can see the little duck and the umbrella are just going to fit right in the middle of this panel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the green of the small polka dot paper from the Let's Polka set and I keep all my petite paper pads in Ziploc baggies and keep all the scraps in there. So I found a scrap that's big enough for me to use and I'm going to cut out that 3x4 journaling card again. I'm not going to cut out a whole card because I don't need a whole card, I just want the bottom part because I'm going to be making some grass for the duck to stand on. So because I'm very conservative with my paper and I hoard pieces, I'm just going to cut out the bottom of the card. So you can see there I have a bottom piece and now I need to cut out the grass. So I'm taking the grassy border die and I'm going to line the two pieces up beside each other so I can kind of tell how far up I want to put the die from the bottom of the card. Once I get it lined up where I want it, I'm just going to hold it down with a piece of post-it note tape and run that through my die cut machine. So you can see now I have some grass that has the edge cut just like the 3x4 card in the background and they will layer right on top of each other perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and tear that grass down to my card and give some base to my C9. Ended up with a tiny little smudge on there. It's really hard to see, but I was trying to be careful not to get the ink that was on my finger on it before I could get it cleaned off. So I'm just going to put my little duck in here and play with the placement. I'm tucking him behind the grass right now, which you could do, but you'll see later that I decided I didn't want to do that. And I wanted to put some clouds in the sky. So I already had a cloud cut out of that um, really small gray polka dot paper from Hello Sunshine. But I decided I wanted to use the smaller polka dot so that one that was already cut out was cut by a from a 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm going to cut three clouds from a piece of the 6 by 6 paper of that gray that has that tiny little white polka dot. So I've cut one middle sized cloud and two small ones. So I have a yellow sunflower card from the Lawn Fundamentals collection and I'm going to use that as my base. But first, before I adhere down my little 3x4 card, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to be using the Happy Shower sentiment from the Hello Baby set. And I've just got my block here and I'm going to line up those words with the grid that's on my block. It's really easy to do because those words are on a rectangular base. So it's really easy to line them up and make sure they're straight. So usually I feel pretty good about how my words are lined up and just go ahead and stamp, but I decided I would show you that you should probably check them just to see. So I am going to stamp in the VersaFine black ink. I really like this ink when you're stamping on pattern paper, so it's something I really like to use when I'm not going to do any coloring. And I've just stamped it here on a scrap piece of paper. And if I can get my card over here, you can see that the spacing's good. It's going to work really great. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink it up again, kind of line up my card with the grid so everything's straight, and just stamp that sentiment right in the grass. I feel like this ink really um, stands out really well on patterned paper. It doesn't absorb into the paper like some inks do. And I don't have anything glued down yet, so I'm just kind of playing with my placement make sure everything works on paper like it does in my head. And I was looking at the little rain shower stamp up there in the corner trying to decide if I wanted to use it so I could go ahead and do the stamping if I wanted to and I decided against it. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere down that 3x4 card. And I'm just going to use my adhesive runner again 
and I just make sure to put a line of adhesive on all four sides. And then I do a little down the middle as well. So it's good and stuck on there. So I'm just going to line it up and center it up in my card. Now it's not exactly the same dimension so there's a little more border at the top and bottom but I, I think that's fine and I think it looks just fine. My clouds are going to help on the top up there. So I've laid out my pieces where I want them to be and I'm going to be using some 3D foam squares. So I have a regular thickness there on the right and then I have the thin ones on the left. I love these thin ones. I love that you can have different dimension without making a card too bulky. So I'm going to put those thin foam squares on that cloud that's going to be on the left side. I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down. And I'm having all these little clouds kind of overhang my white panel. I just think it has a nice look to it. And then the bigger cloud in the back, I just want to be flat on the card. So I'm going to take the adhesive runner and just stick that down on the top up there. I want it to overhang the top of the white card, but I don't want it to be too close to the, to the very top of the edge there. And then I'm going to use just the regular thickness foam squares on the other small cloud. So you can see when I stick that down, it's got a nice dimension. They're all at a different height. And I just really love the way that you can kind of get more dimension out of it using those thin foam squares. So I'm going to stick the regular thickness squares. I've put them on the back of the duck already, putting them on the back of the umbrella. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that adhesive from the runner on the back of the little duck's hand and this way I can kind of line up my pieces where I want them and then I'm going to stick the umbrella to the duck's hand so now it's all kind of one big piece and I can put another foam square behind where that umbrella sticks on there and I pulled all the backing pieces off so I can adhere my little duck down so you can see I decided not to tuck him behind the grass. I kind of like him standing out better than behind the grass. And then I've decided to take the little heart from the set, not the smallest heart, but the next one up. And I'm just going to stamp a couple hearts. Since I decided not to use the little raindrop stamp, I thought it was a little too much. But I did want some little hearts from the clouds, so I'm going to use the Pale Tomato ink here. I really like this color. I think it matches the little hearts in the background paper very well. And I'm just going to stamp out three little hearts at different heights, like they're coming down from the clouds. And then I've got a blue gel pen here. I have these colored gel pens. I really like to use them. This one is the blue color. and it's a little thinner than the normal light gel pen, so you can make some nice thin colored lines. I'm just going to draw some of my own raindrops coming from the clouds. And then finally I've taken my We Could Stella clear glitter and I'm just going over the hearts a little bit and just the very tops of those puffy clouds. It's a very nice um, subtle shimmer. It's not very obvious. You kind of just see it when the light hits it right. It's a little hard to see on camera. but. You can sort of see it when the light hits it. It's very subtle. And that's the card for today. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.